mineral based industries industries that use minerals and metals as raw materials are called mineral based industries iron and steel industry the iron and steel industry is the basic industry since all the other industries heavy medium and light depend on it for their machinery steel is needed to manufacture a variety of engineering goods construction material defense medical telephonic scientific equipment and a variety of consumer goods since steel plays a very crucial role in the infrastructural and overall economic development therefore steel industry is often considered to be an indicator of economic progress the steel industry has given rise to a good number of townships which are rich advanced and has better lifestyles than the rest of the country jamshedpur vijayanagar bokaro steel city Raurkela, Bhilai, Vishakhapatnam are just a few to name. Iron and steel is a heavy industry because all the raw materials as well as the finished goods are heavy and bulky causing heavy transportation costs. Iron ore, cooking coal and limestone are required in the ratio of approximately 4 is to 2 is to 1. Some quantities of manganese are also required to harden the steel. Today, with 32.8 million tons of steel production, India ranks 9th among the world crude steel producers. In spite of large quantity of production of steel, per capita consumption per annum is only 32 kg. It is well below the world average at about 200 kg per annum and much below that of the developed world around 350 kg per annum. Presently there are 10 primary integrated and many mini steel plants in India. All public sector undertakings market their steel through Steel Authority of India Limited sale while Tisco markets its produce through Tata Steel. In 2004 India was the largest exporter of steel which accounted for 2.25% of the global steel trade Chota Nagpur plateau region has the maximum concentration of iron and steel industries This region has many advantages for the development of this industry These include low cost of iron ore high grade raw materials in proximity cheap labor and vast growth potential in the home market though india is an important iron and steel producing country in the world yet we are not able to perform to our full potential largely due to high cost and limited availability of cooking coal lower productivity of labor irregular supply of energy and poor infrastructure We also import good quality steel from other countries however the overall production of steel is sufficient to meet our domestic demand Aluminum smelting Aluminum smelting is the second most important metallurgical industry in India India is a big aluminum producer in the world it holds the rank of the eighth biggest primary aluminum producer in the world Aluminum metal is soft lightweight resistant to corrosion a good conductor of heat ductile malleable and becomes strong when it is mixed with other metals it is used to manufacture aircraft utensils and wires it has gained popularity as a substitute of steel copper zinc there are 8 aluminum smelting plants in the country located in orissa that is Nalco and Balco West Bengal Kerala Uttar Pradesh as Hindalco Chhattisgarh Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu as Malco In 2004 India produced over 600 million tons of aluminum Bauxite the raw material used in the smelters is a very bulky dark reddish colored rock from 4 to 6 tons of bauxite we get only 2 tons of alumina 
after processing two tons of alumina yields only one ton of aluminium regular supply of electricity and an assured source of raw material at minimum cost are the two prime factors for location of the industry chemical industries the chemical industry in india is fast growing and diversifying it is divided into two main sectors inorganic and organic rapid growth has been recorded in both inorganic and organic sectors Inorganic chemicals include sulfuric acid, nitric acid, alkalis, soda ash and caustic soda. Organic chemicals include petrochemicals. It contributes approximately 3% of the GDP. It is the third largest in Asia and occupies the 12th place in the world in terms of its size. It comprises both large and small scale manufacturing units basic chemicals are further processed to produce other chemicals that are used for industrial application agriculture or directly for consumer markets inorganic chemical sulfuric acid is used to manufacture fertilizer 